Deutsche Marine, auf die Bude! Alright y'all, welcome back to Coming Arms Channel. Okay, so today we're checking out a German unit that we haven't checked out previously. And I gotta say, I don't know why it's taken me this long to check out this unit because there's a lot of really cool videos out there and I just haven't reacted to one of them yet. So I think this is the German equivalent to the Navy SEALs. So it's called the Kampf Kampfschwimmer. So I guess it's like a sort of like a combat swimmer. And I gotta say they look really high speed, pretty much on par with the KSK. Now, as far as my understanding, they sort of they still fall underneath the German army, but it's not necessarily like a, a subordinate unit to the KSK, but I'm still not too sure. So if y'all could provide some clarity as far as the separation or sort of how those two units work together, I would appreciate it. But yeah, this looks really cool. I guess it's sort of like a scenario kind of based video where there's three hostages and the, the Kemp Kampfschwimmer are going to go and rescue them. So yeah, should be cool. Let's check it out. So I guess they're sort of like in hostile terrain. I'm just trying to find, that's a pretty nice hideout. <laughs> Convenient, massive, abandoned building. Nice. Oh, they got the, <laughs> nice, they got the flippers on and whatnot too. What is that, is that a sub? <laughs> oh, snap. Dude, this is already super legit. I mean, parachuting into the water is just like, like what? It's such a nuanced thing, but it's so cool for like you actually having that sort of capability. And again, I gotta say the, the desert sort of camo just looks super aesthetic. I'm sure we'll get a better shot of the gear later on, but yeah, so far it's looking pretty freaking sweet. Man, they got their own submarine at their disposal. That's that's pretty cool. That's how you know they're badass. All right, they're loading up. They're getting ready. Oh, are they gonna deploy from those? Oh, dude, that's sweet. I don't know if they did or not, but ah, those things look so cool. They got the G36s and whatnot. What the heck are those sharks? What the heck? Dude, they're trying really hard to make this video look cool and it's definitely working. That was legit. Of course, pretty obligatory at this point. Oh, but they waited for the, what is that, the sunset? That's so cool, man. Nice. I gotta say, they did a really good job shooting this too. I wonder if they did it in sort of like one day. Okay, yep. Now they got their night vision ready. They got their helmets on. How come his night vision doesn't look as cool as the rest? <laughs> Dude. Oh, what the heck? No kidding. Okay, now we gotta check out the gear. So, again, oh, we had a. A lefty, huh? <laughs> There's always one. Okay, so they got the G36s. The desert camo is looking pretty sweet. It looks like this dude has a sort of, yeah, it looks like a couple of them actually might have their shotgun just on their legs like that. Is that what I'm seeing here? Dude, that's freaking sick. It's a pretty cool looking formation. Okay, and again, it looks like some of them have different night vision than others. Some have the panos and some have these i'm not sure i'm sure these are pretty freaking advanced as well but i'm not sure what model those are all right got the tourniquets on standby i guess that was their medic or something oh i like i like how they're being nice and quiet that is a massive building though that would be a that'd be a pain in the ass to clear i'll say that much Dude, I'm liking how quiet they're being. <laughs> yes. Uh, so cool. I don't think a suppressor would be that quiet. In all honesty, especially inside, they're still a little bit loud. 
But I'm liking, I'm liking the stealth approach you're taking to this. Oh, the MP7s too. Oh, hell yeah. They're, they're going really stealthy too. They're not even trying to use like white lights or anything. Oh man, you know you're screwed when you just see that coming around the corner. <laughs> the four eyes. Alright. Well, that was it. It was just a couple of guys. It's pretty, pretty easy day. Mia, what's the middle name of your mother? Maria. Okay, Mia. We are from the Deutsche Marine and we bring you home. Hehe, she's just like, hell oh, yeah. We're in good hands, huh? I don't know. We saw this with the KSK as well. I think you guys gave me some sort of explanation as to why they're rocking the uh, sort of desert camo in this more like wooded environment, but I'm not exactly sure why. I kind of forgot why you guys told me that. So if you guys could assist as to why these guys are wearing the, I guess it's desert camo. It looks pretty light in this sort of environment. I'd appreciate it because I'm, I'm still kind of wondering that. I mean, it still looks cool. And they were pretty much untouched, so. What is this dude gonna take out? Okay, nice. Hell yeah. Here, Charlie has one, two fahrzeuge with gezählt 10 Tangos aus nördlicher Richtung. Entfernung circa 2000 Meter. Schnell nähern, kommen auf Verstanden. Oh, it's gonna be easy day. Easy picking. What did they do to the to apply that camouflage? It looks really sick. Oh my gosh, these guys are of course they are. Pretty stupid. At least they're getting down and sort of bounding. But uh it's not gonna help so much. Oh he's getting up too, what the heck? Oh, it's just fish in a barrel at this point. These guys aren't even shooting. Okay, so this is kind of funny. Honestly, these guys aren't doing the best job dismounting. You know, taking sniper fire could be a, you know, a good time to dismount, but as far as dismounting into this open field like this, I mean, you got some sort of cover and concealment. You need to at least identify the sniper's position. And with a suppressor like he had, I really doubt they were able to do that already. So yeah, you know, these guys would be getting picked off super easily, but I'm looking... What is this thing on his back here? Kind of interesting. Yeah, those guys wouldn't stand a chance. <laughs> Where'd the radio operator go? Mako, Mako, here Charlie 1 1. Here Charlie 1 1. Request for hot extract. Request for hot extract. Common, common. Oh, yeah, of course. That's sick. So I guess that's like the German sort of SWIC equivalent. I wonder if they're sort of like the same unit. Yeah, that's sick. What is he shooting at? <laughs> they're just shooting because they can. Oh, what the heck? Dude, this guy's wouldn't stand a chance. Honestly, yeah, the extract wouldn't even be needed. There's like guys just opening, opening themselves up. Easy day. Oh, they're, oh, no kidding. They're literally just swimming out to them. No way. That's so cool. How far did he have to swim though? That's what I'm wondering. They're just ready to get, you know, soaking wet at any point. Hmm. Was she injured? Why is she on? Why is she on that? I mean, I guess it might be a preventative thing. But <laughs> all right. 
Oh man, I gotta say, that rivaled like the Royal Marines videos we see. Oh dude, that's a badass logo. Easily the coolest German army video that we've seen so far. Or I guess I should say Bundeswehr. I think that's how you guys told me how to pronounce it. But easily, easily the coolest German army video that we've seen so far. That was really well shot. And again, we just had a lot of cool clips of the gear. We had a lot of cool clips of sort of the CQB, them moving around. And again, we saw like the they inserted, so they parachuted into the water. And then they went into a submarine. And then from there, they ended up sort of inserting with those cool like underwater things. I'm not exactly sure what those are called. And they waited. I guess it was sunrise. And they headed out and they did their thing. And then the extract as well, which is badass. Every part of this video was badass, I got to say. So, of course, if you guys have any recommendations for this specific unit, I would like to check it out. I want to see more of what these guys can do. I mean, I think we saw a pretty good, I think we got a pretty good idea of what they can do just watching this video. But I'd like to see if you guys have any other videos to recommend. I'm surprised. I know this was on my list for a long time. I just sort of like overlooked it for the longest time. But yeah, I'm really glad I was able to, to uncover it again because that was pretty freaking sweet. Again, thank you guys again for the awesome recommendations. This was a very, very solid one. I know I say that a lot, but this one particularly was really, really sweet. You guys already know I'm a huge fan of the gear and the CQB and just, you know, the, the cool guy stuff is always fun to watch. But yeah, thank you guys again. If you have anything to recommend or if you have anything to put down in the comment section, please do so. You can head over to the Discord, talk to other members of the community down there. You can check out the description if you want to check out my shorts channel where I do some sort of like, you know, gun content every week or, you know, maybe even a couple times a week. Or you can check out the merch, all that good stuff. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you again for supporting the channel. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. But that's it for this one. I'll see you on the next one.